in downtown LA. You know that whole thing about California being shut down? It's a f lie. It's the biggest lie. We're taking Steph, the portrait she painted for her friend. But first she's having to learn how to use a parking meter. <coughs> Alright, so every time I come to LA, at one point, I always end up saying how much I hate LA. This is the point where I say I hate LA. So we're trying to get to uh, Steffi's friend's shop, which is kind of like right in the jewelry plaza area. It's just chaos, nowhere to put the van. Can't park it in the parking deck because of the, uh, what you call it, the clearance of it, it's too large. So we're all the way in Chinatown now, and I'm going to see how much it is to pay to park here, and maybe park here, and then we Uber back, or Steph just Ubers back, and I'll guard the van. So it's $5 to park here. All right, we left the van in the sketchy parking lot. Now we're taking a lift over to where we need to go. I'm stressed. I really do feel like the paparazzi now in LA. It feels like in those movies where like the monsters are going to the jewelry guy with the bags of cocaine. I promise there's just a laptop back here. It's not drugs. I mean, maybe a little drugs, but not the bad kind. Good morning from, are we still in Santa Monica or is this Venice? Venice. Venice, Venice Beach. Uh, we slept in front of a dispensary last night on the road, on the street. We woke up today and there was a dude just like unconscious on the sidewalk, <laughs> so that's cool. Now we're just sitting here waiting to go hang out with somebody. Somebody who you guys all know very well, whose name might rhyme with Huston Malfoni. <laughs> Yeah, just waiting on that, and then we're going to hang out with another one of Steph's friends, and then tomorrow we'll be in San Diego. And after that, I think we're leaving Cali, because everything's kind of shut down, and we can't take showers or anything. And so I think we're going to Vegas. And I have, I actually have two plane tickets booked, because they're so cheap. So I got one from Vegas to Denver, and that was like, that ticket cost me $3. Hopper app, use the Hopper app if you travel. And then I got one from Denver back to Charlotte uh, on the 18th, which I think cost me $17. Wow, what a bargain. <laughs> so yeah, now we're just kind of wandering around, waiting. We're in a uh, we're in a Whole Foods parking lot right now. <clears throat> yeah, should be a should be a fun day. Want to buy me some cornbread? I just bought you cornbread last night. But I ate it. <laughs> cornbread. All right, what's up guys? Uh, me and Steffi are here in LA and I'm hanging out with someone you all know very well. You have asked over and over if we were ever going to hang out, if we were ever going to meet. So now we're here with the man himself, Mr. Justin Baldoni, the dude who brought you five feet apart. The man, the man himself. A nice, socially distant. Yeah, we we got we got you space know, between us. So. Lots of, we're probably what, we're probably almost eight feet. Yeah, <laughs> we're good. Being extra careful. We're not taking a foot back. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we should have brought a pool stick. All uh, right. You guys should have brought a pool stick. <laughs> right. What's up, guys? Future me here, chilling here with baby Ember editing as you just saw. So as you can see in this part of the video, we went and met Justin Baldoni. So whenever we went and met, I really just wanted to meet up with him because every time I'm in LA, Justin's usually off doing somewhere else and I really just wanted to get to thank him in person and you know, just really just chat, you know, because we, uh, he's a really good dude. He, you know, we've kind of been in contact ever since the movie and that whole reaction video. And so I was gonna like, you know, ask, get a picture, maybe just show him in the vlog or whatever, but being the amazing dude he is, he actually let me sit down with him and we kind of did, uh, it's not really an interview so much as just uh, us just kind of talking about the five feet apart and you know the impact the movie had on CF and really just kind of my experience and it, it was just a really rad conversation. Like dude blocked off some of his schedule and let us shoot this. It's like a really rad 45 minute uh, like kind of combo and I, I need to go through and kind of chop it up and see what I'm gonna keep. But we talked about a lot of really awesome and amazing topics. So that's not gonna be in this vlog right here. There's way too much and I just feel like for everything that Justin did 
for the movie and all that. That whole conversation, everything we talked about deserves its own video. It's either going to be the next video after this or the video after that, it just depends, because it's gonna take me a minute to edit. So, consider this like a little teaser, uh, but the sit down with me, Steph, and Justin Baldoni will be out hopefully within like a week or two. It's kind of gonna bring everything with five feet apart and you know, the reaction that I did, and I know a lot of people are following my channel from that reaction video that I did to Five Feet Apart. So get excited on that. You guys are definitely, if you've been following me for a while with my CF journey and if you follow me through Five Feet Apart, it's definitely a video you wanna watch. But enough of me blabbing, we'll get you back to the show. Just finished visiting with Justin. Uh, gotta thank Steph here for filming. Literally the nicest human on the planet. Now we're apparently, we're pulling into rich people houses. We're not supposed to be here. It turns out the same super ultra crazy rich neighborhood that we just had to turn around in. So where we're turned around at, oh, found, that's where Steffi's friend lives. So we get to go in there. Yeah. My my poor blood is itching right now. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to breathe. Wait till so you see your house. It's full of like original Picassos and stuff. Wow. What the, the f what the f bro? <laughs> Slow down! Don't hit the fucking gates in Calabasas. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I can't breathe in here. <laughs> it's like I'm so poor, it's the richness <laughs> is depriving me of oxygen. <laughs> this is the neighborhood, I think Kim Kardashian, or one of the Kardashians lives here. And Jeffree Star lives near here. I'm not sure if he's in this exact neighborhood. But yeah, really rich people. <laughs> oh, this car makes me feel better. Look at this beater right here. Yes. <laughs> How to step on the grass here? <laughs> How to step on the grass? How do rich houses work? A gated community and a gate within a gate. We in Middle Earth right now? <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Calabasas. So apparently Nikki Six lives here? No. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe. I think, I can't remember which way we came. Don't kill someone's yard. <laughs> These yards cost, look, those hedges right there that are all trimmed out, those cost more than our lives are worth. <laughs> so apparently from what Steffi's friend was saying, this is one of the most exclusive and hard to get into um, celebrity home areas. Here, <laughs> and we're here, baby. I mean, I don't know, Steph, you kind of, you look like you could fit in here. Look at me, like, <laughs> I just look like some poor dirt bag that you picked up on the side of the road. Well, that's kind of what I did. <laughs> <laughs> you from your trailer in, in the south. I don't live in a f trailer anymore, anymore. It's a house! <laughs> but it's, it's like a one story little tiny thing. That's when you know you grew up rich with money, when you think the one st a one story house is just like, oh, that's pretty much a trailer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Trailer and your My poor. grandma has a one story house, but it's a lot nicer than yours. Like, I just feel like yours, maybe it's just because it smells like cat pee. I associate it with like poor people, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hater. Good morning from San Diego. Good morning. We slept at the dog beach, so we woke up and there's just dogs everywhere, so that's rad. <laughs> and there's a bathroom right there, so that doesn't hurt matters at all. A bunch of the surfer bros are getting ready to ride the six swell, bro. I do not know how to surf. I tried it one time, and it was the biggest fail of my life. I watched Point Break like 87 times growing up, so I thought it'd be easy. It's not. And once it gets a little warmer, there's showers, like sh beach showers right over there. Totally gonna go take a shower over there because I have so much dry shampoo in my hair right now that I'm pretty, pretty sure it's flammable. Like, I don't know if it's picking up all those little particles coming out, but yeah, that's just dry shampoo. So yeah, California, all the showers are shut down and locked down, so yeah, it's just been dry shampoo in it. This one time we were doing this really long hike, I think I went like nine days without a shower, so I'm kind of used to it. 
My record's eight, but I think I wanted to die by the end of it. I felt so gross. But you have dread, so it doesn't matter. So it kind of looks like you <laughs> always don't bathe. <laughs> Apparently, Steffi signed us up to uh, do a podcast or something, and I'm currently higher than a giraffe on bath salts right now, so I'm just going to throw these babies on, and we're just going to wing it, man. That's the best way to go. We just we just did a podcast, and we dog-napped. <laughs> podcast guy's dog. This is Zelda. Zelda! <laughs> she's the sweetest, oh, she's the sweetest puppy. Yes, she is. Hello. Good morning from Oceanside, California. Currently about to go in. Use the bathroom at this grocery store, whatever grocery store this is. I couldn't find any underwear, so I just threw my shorts on, and I'm just free balling this bitch, because why not? What? The seagull was digging around in your bag. He better not have took the keys. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going all the way in that water. That was a terrible. <laughs> yeah. I have a very small clitoris right now. <laughs> Me too. I know that's a lie. <laughs> I bet this dude is whacking it so hard in this car right behind me that it sounds like white people running in flip flops. <laughs> to give you guys reference, there's like families eating at this restaurant behind us. There's a dude totally jacking off the car right there if you look to my, your left, right, something. <laughs> Look, he's leaving now. Like as soon as, as soon as Steph got done, look, this guy right here. Oh my God, he was just staring. He never, he didn't break eye contact at all. Is he really? I thought he was about to pull in a different parking spot. I was like, dang, no. Yo, what if he went down to like another girl who showered? What if he's like the 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 beach creep that everyone knows about? This is my chance. Sandy. <laughs> okay, SpongeBob. Don't disturb me when you come back, because I will be playing my clarinet. <laughs> Remember the creepy first old guy? Is he back? He's right there. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded like it was like a horror movie, like Friday the 13th, like Jason. Is he back? <laughs> no, I'd kill him if he came back. Good morning, lords and ladies. So, we are parked right by the beach in Santa Monica right now. So the plan was I was gonna fly back from LA on the 17th because there won't be anyone to watch my animals at that point, so I have to be back. But considering, you know, Cali shut down and just, it's kind of hard to get a shower and all that. But actually, let me rephrase. So Cali shut down, shut down, but not a single person is abiding by the shutdown thing. So it's not really shut down, it's just annoyingly shut down to where you can't get in the shower, the gyms are closed, all that. So, I removed, I moved my ticket, and so I have a ticket now from Vegas on the 17th to Denver, and then Denver to Charlotte. Uh, it's cool because I used the Hopper app, and so my ticket from uh, Vegas to Denver was $3, and my ticket from Denver to Charlotte was $12. You can't beat that. And so, uh, we were going to hang out with some more Steffi's friends, but they are unable to hang, so I think what is going to happen now is we're going to shoot back up kind of through LA to see if Steffi's uh, thing is done that she's waiting on and if not we're just gonna go ahead and head to Vegas and chill there until I fly out on the 17th so right now I'm gonna brush my teeth you can't have stinky breath in a van or it's just a bad time <laughs> 